When you move over to Reviso from another accounting system, you may well want to transfer your opening balances. And the way you do that in Reviso is first of all check that the financial year has been created. So go to Settings, All Settings, Finance and Accounting Year. So we're going to enter the closing balances for December 2016, which will then become the opening balances for January 2017. So first of all, make sure that the period for December, the month we're going to be processing these, is open, which it is. And then make sure that the period for January 2017 is also open, which it is, because once they're booked, the period needs to be open in order for these entries to be booked. So let's go to Finance and Journal Entries, and we're going to select New Entry, and the date of these entries, we're going to date them all as 31st of December 2016. Enter the nominal code, or start typing the name of the nominal code, and it will appear, in this instance, debtors, text, can be opening balance, and then this is going to be a debit. Move on to the next line. It will retain opening balance for you. And then we're going to put a credit. So basically you're just you're just entering the opening balances from your previous financial year's accounts. And so depending on what the name is. If a VAT account pops up, then clear that down and blank it out, because with opening balances there will be no VAT. Prepaid says 100, accruals is 200. So you can get the gist of what we're doing here, you're just entering your opening balances for your previous financial year. We can then book these, but what we're going to do is preview them first. Once we're happy with them, then they can be booked and posted. You need to keep entering your opening balances journal until the difference down here obviously comes to nil, and then you know that it balances. So we've just got a few more to put in. So I'll have this one. Okay, our journal now comes to nil. We can save this and that will sit here in our listing area. And if we go to reports and if we go to financial and let's go to trial balance and if we run a trial balance as at 31st of December 2016 and tick this box include non-booked entries. Click OK. We'll then see the impact of those entries on our try balance and you can double check these to make sure that you're happy with them. So we've got debtors of 400 and we have got creditors of 525. So and everything looks good and what we can now do is we could go ahead and book that or you can put your debtors and creditors also onto the system because these are sales invoices that have yet to be paid by your customers and supplier invoices which you have yet to pay to your suppliers and you can put those on as opening balances as well so that your age debtor and your age creditor reports agree with your opening balances is we'll go we'll start with the sales so go to sales and manual customer invoices And we have one entered here already, so we just need to enter another one. So it's new entry and select your customer and then the invoice number of the invoice that was outstanding as at the 31st of December. The date, again, it's 
and 6 and total amount is 300 and you'll see here the first line is the line for the debtor control account so we've already accounted for this in your sales in the previous financial year so the code here needs to be the same as your debtor so what this will do the net effect on your debtor control account is going to be nil but it will record 300 pounds as outstanding on your age debt and you'll see that as we go through this so let's just do invoice and it's 300 pounds okay we can save that and what we're going to do now is go to the creditors so the suppliers and we've got one invoice outstanding here so we're going to do another one so our supplier is so the end of December this supplier invoice was outstanding And again, it gives you here the top line, the creditor control account, because all supply invoices get posted in total to this. So what we need to do, instead of coding it to whatever the supply invoice originally related to, we're going to post it to the control account. So net effect is going to be nil. We're going to have a debit and a credit on the control account, but it will record an amount outstanding on the creditor report. So 275, make sure everything goes to nil and then save. Right, okay, so let's just go back to reports and let's go back to finance and our trial balance. And as you can see from here, we've got £400 outstanding on our debtor and 525 on our creditor. So if we now go to our customer reports and our age debt report 31st of December show details and non booked items you'll see there's the hundred and there's the 300 invoice outstanding and the total on your age debt agrees with your control account so these two items are now ready to post when you receive it the funds from that customer okay and go back to our Go back to reports and go to our supplier reports, age creditor report, and let's change this date to show detail and include non booked entries. And you'll see here the total of our age creditor as at 31st of December is 525, which agrees with our trial balance. And you can see the two invoices outstanding here. So these are there ready for when you pay them you've got something to clear that payment against so all that's left to do is to go back into your day books and book your entries once your entries have been booked the last part of the process is to close the financial year so you'd go back into finance and accounting year and you can see the number of transactions has increased once they've been booked to reflect this within your financial year so if you close this year, if you have departments they can be distributed but do not reset the balance sheet. Select close. It will then give you a list of all the transactions that have taken place which you can print off. Let's go back to our financial year. You will now see this icon to say that this financial year has been closed and your opening balances now, or your closing balances of 2016, now become your opening balances for January 2017. So if you were to run any of your balance sheet or your trial balance, they would be included and reflected in those reports.